Each and every musical piece across our world's diverse cultures has a few very important things in common. What else can a musician do but reflect their experiences and perception of the world, or write what they know? There is not now, nor has there ever been, a French or German, white or black, Asian or African music. What there are instead are numerous musical expressions that through generations and countless exchanges between cultures became owned by or associated to a culture and This search for purpose is often referred to as religion. Beginning early in life, children in every culture began to ask questions seeking the meaning of life, mostly linked to the religious belief systems established by their parents and ancestors, or that is predominant in the cultures of their upbringing human beings will embrace or reject religious systems based on the perceived benefit, the strategies, or logic of their experiences. Concerning our musical world, however, whether or not a person has a specific religious belief, they cannot escape the fact that each and every piece of music that they will either play or listen to over the course of their lives will be influenced, if not solely based upon the singing or music that has evolved from our world's religions. Well, here's where knowing history from a world perspective and the enormous influence of religions over centuries comes into play. As a result, the pitches, scales, or modes, and manner by which we phrase our songs have been largely determined by the world's religious chanting. Later, how we played the violins or guitars we built largely copied how we sang. We might even go so far as to say most, if not all, of the instruments we use today are descendants of instruments designed largely to accompany religious chanting or later religious songs. We might ask, how is song that says, row, row your boat, like a Catholic mass, or atan, the Muslim call to prayer? There are a few ways by which religious chant distinguishes itself from the music of the streets. Entonement or chanting of prayers or holy texts was historically considered to be largely the proper manner for singing or vocalizing. Meditation, the term mantra, is derived from two Sanskrit words, man and tra, which mean mind and freedom respectively. Therefore, meditative chant using a mantra, common to most religions, is a means for freeing the mind from this world or allowing one to find truth or God within. Instruction Education All religions emphasize the need to study, recite, and memorize the writings of their prophet or teachers. In this sense, chanting the writings or holy books, much like singing the times tables or alphabet, reinforces the patterns, rhythms, and syntax of the text. Memorization is believed to be improved through chanting versus speaking. Prayer. The favorite means for expression of religious thought through chanting or entonement has been prayer. Much of music, classical, folk, or religious is constructed upon the melodies that served conversation with or praise of God or a higher power. Because prayer can accommodate a greater range of emotion, chanted prayers generally also have a wider range and expressive emotion. Let's take a moment to listen to a few examples of chants from some of the world's great chant traditions. Christos gennate doxasate, Christos exuranon 
So we wanted to know, how does someone learn to chant? We know three things we can factor into the chanting or intonement in all religions. First, the text determines the rhythm and flow of the chant and is generally not metered. Since most texts or prayers are non-metric, that is, they do not have a beat or metered rhythmic pattern, most chants are also non-metric. In other words, songs are generally not chants. Two. We will chant pitches and emphasize words according to the specific languages and religious cultures or environment that surrounds us. We learn from the religions and ancestors who came before us, and we largely intone or come to value melody based on our ancestors' values. And finally, the practice of religious chanting greatly influences non-religious music and vice versa. What we hear in the temples, mosques, and churches influences hugely what we play in the streets, and what we play in the streets impacts our religious music, consciously or unconsciously, willed or unwilled. We turn to the most recent world religion, the Baha'i Faith, as Baha'is have an uncompromising belief in the interconnection of all religions, the oneness of God, and in the use of the arts, music, and chanting or intonement to elevate the human spirit to a connection with the Creator, or to assist the individual in fulfilling their innate purpose. Tuluye Mani was born in Tehran, the capital of Iran, to a Baha'i mother and a Muslim father. Her father later bowed to pressures by clergy to not associate with Baha'is and left the family. She was schooled largely by an elder brother, later married her husband from Russia, and with her three children has lived in the United States since 1966. Afzar Mirafzali is a mother of four children, born in Shiraz, Iran. She worked in the university in Shiraz until meeting her husband and eventually came to the United States where she raised her children who now live in China and North America. Dr. Shokrola Mirafzali was born in Karshan, Iran. His parents were Muslim, but after some time his father investigated the Baha'i faith as being the fulfillment of the Muslim and Christian prophecies and later became a Baha'i. After completing medical school where he met Afzar, his wife, and was accepted for residency in the United States, where he has remained for over four decades. From childhood, I learned from uh, my father that uh, the main cause of differences that exist between all the people in the world that everybody said that my religion is right and your religion is wrong is a misunderstanding that the people should understand that there is no difference between any religion all of them are the same and all of them came from one God as a matter of fact Baha'i faith believes that uh, the religion is only one that is renewed based on the age and capacity of mankind it's very good because when I was in kindergarten and uh, elementary school, I had a, a, a friend, which is still we are friends, and we are together like a, like a sister. And everybody was 
looking at us and said, how come one is Baha'i, one is Muslim? So th there is no difference, we are the same. For this reason, everybody said, if my name is Afsa, but they said Efi, because they cannot say Afsa. And they said, when you come in, in the room, everybody knows you are different from everybody. Because we're always laughing and kiss everybody and talk to everybody. I said, because I'm Baha'i, I love everybody. So when I was in Persia, we had different religion. We have uh, the Armenian people, Christian, and the Jews, and Australian, and Muslim. And when I passed through a different section of Iran, I was hearing that everybody with a different tone was praising God. And it was really interesting to me that, you know, the praise of God with different tone is so beautiful. Mitchell Sam Toroshok Namayam Kafel Buddha Maga Hafarmudi Or is Buddha Marekbal Taid Namudi Morde Buddha Mazao Hayao Zendigi Bakshidi از مرده بودم از کوسر بیان که از قلم رحمان جاری شده تازگی انتام کردی هر وردگار وجود کل از جودت موجود از بحر کرمت محروم مفرما they said, okay, we have a gathering, and today you have to read the prayer. I said, I never read the prayer. How I could do that? Maybe I forgot. They pushed me. They said, no, you have to go and learn. I said, okay. I was so glad. I said, I'm going to go and read it. About 155 people was in the room, and I go there. I said, Huvalla, Parvardigara. I started to read the prayer, and middle of that, I forgot. I was so shy, you know, I couldn't finish it. And I said to everybody, I can't finish this prayer, you know, because I never do that, you know, and they push me. And after that, I start to read the prayer, Lader. And when I read it, Lader, Lader it goes to my heart, and I said, maybe the God heard what I said that, you know. میخوام این مناجات برای شما بخونم برای که من برای مناجات خوندن یه خجالت میکشم دفع اولم میخواستم بخونم وسط مناجات مذارت خواستم رفتم نشستم تموم نکردم امیدوارم که این دفعه بتونم تموم بکنم اینا مناجات حالا یه مناجات کوچیک براتون بخونم ما قافلی ما زاهلی تو عفوی تو قفوری تو بزرگ باری و تا مرزگار این نکه انت التواب و ستار چندین So one day when he asked me to say a prayer I could say it because I learned but not with the voice, but with the words. And then when I attended the, the Sunday school, second grade or third grade, my teacher said, uh, I want you to say some prayers. And then I said it. He said, she said, no, I want you to chant it. So I remembered immediately my brother's voice. Was my soul a bit shady in Jahan? No meat, my girl. Alhamdulillah, Hodai. مهربان دار 